Oh my God. Wow. Lexus is back. Yo. <laughs> Yo. The Lexus is back, lads. Oh my days. Yo, what is good, guys? It's Cryptic TMG back in Rubanio video. And today we're going to be going through the BOP changes for the GT Freeze on ACC after patch 1.9. Six, which is now 1.97 because i think they did a little update as well so um we're going to be running through those changes but first guys i want to show you something else and it's very very interesting so let's get stuck into the video so i was scrolling through reddit just to find more information on the acc updates and we came across this which i believe is in the game files um you can see patch 1.95 to patch 1.96 which is obviously the new dlc but if you just run through all the tracks these are the codes for the tracks right so you can see eu a is monza eu b1 is paul ricard so on and so forth you've got eu d1 which represents brands hatch zolder valencia and red bull ring you can see eu r which is new we already know we're getting a north schleifer so that is north schleifer but if you scroll down right to the bottom there is igt h and this track does not exist yet so we are definitely getting another track what track will it be um and this is not Nordschleife. we already see Nordschleife is already in the list so we're getting another track me personally if i was to weigh things up i would probably say this is going to be jedda just by the fact of you know i remember watching the last race of the sro esports series on lan and the commentator said that they're going to be going to jedda um they're, do they're going to be doing a lan event at jedda and if you know anything about their esports side of things with sro they always go to the the um the venue of the actual race to do their LAN events. If you see like um last year, I think the last race was at Barcelona, all the esports drivers, you know, Prenter, everyone, uh Nils, I believe, they all went to Barcelona to race in the actual where the race was actually taking place in the real world. So I know that they did say they're going to be doing a LAN event at Jeddah in 2024. And if you look at the 2024 calendar, you can actually see, um, if you scroll down right to the bottom, that six hours of Jeddah is the last track that they're going to be doing in the season. So, you know, as they've already said, they're definitely going to be performing an event at on land at Jeddah, which kind of sort of tells you that we're probably most likely going to be getting this track. It will be the first street track on the game. Um, some of the people have speculated that it might be like Dubai Autodrome and stuff like that, but I'm not sure if that's SRO. I think that's like IMSA, so I'm, I'm not too sure. But um, I personally think it's probably going to be Jeddah. I've done a video on this previously, but there is other circuits like Hockenheim and Manicor. You never know, man, but IGT tracks seem to be tracks that are not in Europe, so I doubt it's going to be Manicor or, or, or Hockenheim. So I personally feel I can't promise anything because I don't know, but just trying to add the pieces together it kind of looks like we're going to be getting Jeddah um so let's see um let's see when this happens we already know we're getting Nordschleife in the spring not sure when that will be exactly but again down the line we have to think that we're, we're going to be getting another track because it's definitely there in in the notes in it in the in files of the game so let's see but anyway let's get stuck into the BOP changes and see what's been going on in the world of GT3 so here are the current patch notes. Actually, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in a bit because they're tiny. You can barely see them. That I think that's a bit better, right? I think that will do. That should do. So you can see patch 1.97, current patch of the game. Um, this was on the 25th of January this year. So pretty much everything we need to know. Um, let's just go through some of the changes. Grass friction changed perhaps decreased why perhaps and i find some of um acc's patch notes a bit weird it's not very specific if it's been decreased just say it's been changed and decreased you know what i mean it's not perhaps it's like it's like they don't know it's like bro you're the ones that are actually making changes to the game how, how do you not know or how are you not sure sand friction changed perhaps decreased same thing again dry and wet tire model values changed visual tire blur update okay none of this stuff i care about because you ain't supposed to be driving on the grass all the sand 
um i guess the tire model values change for dry and wet that's i mean that's pretty cool um cars and bop cars with no information below them have no changes from patch 1.95 to 1.96 um power turbo percentage changes are calculated as an average of the power values over affected rpm range if there are multiple ranges all values between the ranges are included in an average even if unchanged okay so let me get my mind around what i just read so i guess they're trying to um sort of even out the power ranges a little bit so no cars has got like a, a mad amount of um power compared to something else but I, you know i don't know how it's all gonna work to be honest man i don't know how it's all gonna work we shall see but we've got the tracks here try to remember these codes i will scroll back up when we go through the bop for each car anyway um but just keep an eye on tracks uh keep an eye on like the code eud1 because that is like multiple tracks so um basically whatever bop you have for eud1 it's going to be effective for brand tax zolder valencia red bull ring so if your car's got a good bop for zolder chances are it's going to have a good bop for the other three tracks as well so that should be good i kind of think it's kind of lazy though i'd prefer a bop for each individual track um because even though they are sort of shorter tracks they are also very different you know zolder is nothing like red bull ring it's nothing like brands hatch you know so it's it's a little bit weird but it is what it is um i'm not sure why these just have a tick by them i guess they haven't changed much the the rear your gain change the your rear your gain change on the aston martin v8 okay I'm not going to I'm not going to go into specifics with the GT4s because I honestly don't care enough. Um we don't know one really uses them so it's not that important. If you do want to go through the uh, list of stuff, I will leave the link in the description as well then you can go through it if you want to check GT4s if you're interested in that stuff. I personally don't care about GT4 so I'm just going to keep it strictly with the GT3s and um they've even they've even changed the the original Audi front downforce delta height change front downforce wait what front downforce delta height change front downforce front height change okay um they didn't do anything to the evo so this is the first evo this ain't even the second evo so they're still making changes to the original audi guys wow why okay audi ra lms evo 2 which is the current generation of audi power nerf at 7500 to 8250 rpm that's nerfed pretty much at eua eub2 eub1 euc1 igtf igth isn't h the new track no h is kialami so kialami uh indianapolis euc1 nurburgring wow it's, it's been nerfed like everywhere man jeez eu b1 b2 and a so monza pull record and spa jesus audi's been hit hard with it um gtamb bgtb what is that? Autumn Park and Donington as well. Power Nerf from what? Power Nerf from 4,500 to 7,000 RPM. Um, and wow, that's a proper nerf. And then again at 7,500 and 8,250 at IGTA and BGT, BGTD. Where's that? mount panorama and laguna i think is it bgt wait i'm getting confused bro why can't i just write the name of the circuit it's so annoying igta mount panorama damn 
and Beachy BGT D Snetterton. No one cares about Snetterton, not that important. Um That's insane. I mean, without the custom BOP, the Audi definitely needed to be nerfed, but bro. Damn. That's crazy. Alright, let's move on to the BMW M4 GT3. Um minus 30 kg at euc2 which is barcelona so that should be a lot quicker at barcelona now um 20 plus kg at gtamc which is circuit of the americas so it's been nerfed there minus 15 kg at eu 15 kg at eu d1 now, I'm sure that's the one with, yeah, Brands Hatch, Zolder, Valencia, and Red Bull Ring. So, it's been buffed pretty much at four tracks. Um, minus 45 kg at EU D2. Minus 45, bro. That is, I'm sure that's over the threshold of what we could even do in terms of custom BOP. Because I think the max you could do was 40. So, they've gone beyond what um what we could do i wonder if they've extended the amount that we're, we're able to to um nerf or buff the cars by ourselves that is interesting what track is that eud2 mizano and zanvort so that's two more tracks so in total you can say this car's had a buff at like six tracks man hey the bmw might be back low key it might be back because that is they're doing they're doing they're doing all right 45 kilograms as well jesus christ um base power nerf though except gt amc which is circuit the americas okay so they've done quite a lot man update rain light timing um not that important um let's go to the bentley wow okay no this is the 2000 bro i thought this was the i thought this was the actual bentley this looks incredible i wonder why they've gone so hard bro why have they gone so hard with the bentley that the original bentley no one's going to use this car because the traction control is awful unless you can drive this thing on zero tc hey which you might be able to do now actually i yo, i've got to test this car out Bro, minus 35, minus 40, minus 5. This car's been nerfed. I mean, buffed everywhere, pretty much. Minus 5 kg at EUD1. So that the four tracks, it's only got a, a small minus. So that's not going to do anything. So it's probably still going to be slow around Brands Hatch, Zolder, Red Bull Ring, and forgot the other track. So, um, and Valencia. It won't be won't be great there. IGTA probably won't be great there either. It's only five kilograms, but there's a lot of minus forties there, man. That's crazy. Front downforce, front downforce, um, height change, rear downforce, front ride height change. What? What did I just read? Front downforce, front height change, rear downforce, front height change. What? How do you change the rear downforce front height change? <laughs> Yo, who writes these notes, bro? Who writes these notes? All right, let's move on to the Bentley that we actually care about. Um, The Bentley Continental GT3 2018. So minus 15 kgs at EUB1, which is pull record. That's good. It needed to be quicker. Um, minus 30 at EUB2. Spa. Okay. Um, minus 10 at EUD1, which is the four tracks we talked about. Brands Hatch, Zolda, um, Valencia, and Red Bull Ring. Minus 10 kg. I'm sure this car was already quick. At Zolder though, so they made it even faster at Zolder. Damn, it is EU D1, right? We did get that right. Yeah, bro, this car was already fast at Zolder, man. 
That's insane. It's gonna be one of it's gonna be one of the OP cars at Zolder now for sure. Um minus 35 kg of EU C2. That's a lot. Where is that? Barcelona. Bro. I'm not even gonna lie. But then again, we when I was doing laps, that was with the custom BOP, and I think we had minus 40 on the Bentley around Barcelona, so that that, that might not be too crazy because I've actually I've actually used the Bentley with I think minus 40 around Barca and it was pretty good man turbo buff from 6000 to 7000 rpm at EU B1 which is Paul Ricard oh it might be spicy lads at Paul Ricard sheesh um power nerf at 0.7% EU B2 collision box raise yo now that's important because i've showed you guys the video before of the bentley getting caught on the curb on a completely flat curb around valencia and it just sends it straight off you know so collision box raised i like that i like that that's beautiful mm, interesting stuff man interesting stuff it looks like a little buff for the bentley to be honest um let's move on to the jag no the jag's got nothing they've done nothing to the jag okay ferrari 296 which is going to be what a lot of people are interested in i've never seen this in patch notes before so um turbo lag dn i don't know what that means i'm seeing turbo lag i'm seeing increase 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 and um i'm not sure turbo la turbo lag such a good thing IGTA Mount Panorama um I BGTB Donington EU C1 and EU D1 so that's four tracks right EU D1 is four tracks and it's got a power nerf at EUC one. So it's got more turbo lag around. Jeez, bro. Did they try and nerf the Ferrari into the ground? What's what's going on here? So the Ferrari's just been nerfed around all these tracks, right? And was it what was the other one? Power nerf at seven seven thousand two hundred and fifty RPM. EUC one. Nurburgring, sheesh. Um, I don't think that's that might not be too crazy. That's, I don't think that's too crazy around Nurburgring, but the turbo lag, we're yet to see how that's going to affect the car, man. I need to see. I know turbo lag's decreased at um at EU D one, so turbo lag decreased at Brands Hatch, Zolda, Valencia, and Red Bull Ring. Okay, cool. No changes to any of these cars. Didn't do anything to the Honda. Apart from an aero gain change. I I don't know. Their, I don't quite know their terminology. CL gain. Aero CL gain change. Ain't got a clue what that means, to be honest. But gain <laughs> is normally something positive. So um we'll we'll see if anyone jumps in that car and starts going quick um the lamborghini got 10 kg at bgt a d and igt c let's see what that is um bro i forget the codes as soon as i scroll up bro bgt a bgt d igt c it's just so much easier to write the damn names, man. Hey, so it's Autumn Park, um, Snetterton, I think. Suzuka. Man. Power Nerf at 7,000 RPMs to 8,000 RPM. IGTA and IGTH. I know that's Kailami. Power Nerf at 5,000 
RPM and 8,000 to 8,250 at all other tracks. For reference, the Evo 2 uses the power curve of the Evo updated pit limiter light timing. Right. Wow, this kind of got a nerf then. This definitely got a nerf. There's literally no positives. For you Lambo drivers, there's, there's nothing good coming out of this patch for you. <laughs> nothing. Literally. Lexus. Oh my God. Wow. Lexus is back. Yo. <laughs> Yo. The Lexus is back, lads. Oh my days. What what are they doing? Yo, this is every track, right? Bro. Yo, we need to try the Lexus, bro. Oh my god. Minus 45 kg. Minus 35. Minus 35. Bro, this is like every track on the game, man. Yo. Hey. Collision box raised front and rear your game change. Bro. I'm going to keep scrolling back up and forth because you got... I'm going to leave it, as I said, I'm going to leave it in the description for you guys. You can check it out yourselves. Damn. Yo, the Lexus might become a threat because we already know this car has got some decent straight line speed, man. Um, Let's let's see. Let's see. Scroll down. Okay, the McLaren has, I mean, minus 25 kg at IGTH, I think it's Kyle Army, right? Yes, IGTH is Kyle Army. Um, and then, yo, it's got a bunch of tracks where it's got a small... That's a tiny power nerf, right? I don't think... Well, it says 0.41%, which is kind of big. Hold on, give me two secs. Someone's at my door. <sighs> Sorry about that. Where were we? So, yeah, actually, the nerf does seem pretty big power enough at 6500 rpm and 7500 rpm to 8000 rpm which i guess you could say is significant power enough from 3000 to 7000 rpm at eu b2 which is crazy yo that's a big nerf and power enough from 4500 to 8000 rpm at eu c1 that's 0.86% and 0.72%. What tracks are they? B2 and C1. B2, Spa, C1, Nürburgring. Yo, significant, I think. Significant nerf. All right, let's get stuck into the Mercedes. They haven't touched the Mercedes whatsoever, so the Mercedes hasn't changed. Yo! The ne Bro, this is why... If you guys haven't seen, this is why the Nissan is looking insane around Red Bull Ring. Its base weight has been cut by minus 35 kg. So literally, it's just shedded a whole lot of weight. And then on top of that, it's got a power buff from 4,500 RPM to 5,000 RPM here. It doesn't say to what on these first four tracks, BGT, BCD and IGTC. Hold on. Let's see. I'm sure this is like, it's everywhere, bro. There's all the British tracks. Suzuka, bro. This car is going to be a monster. Slip angle change. Collision box raised. Front and rear yaw gain changed. Bro, a lot of changes to the GTR. And if you guys haven't seen, man, like maybe I'll get it up on the screen for you guys. There's been some insane times around the Red Bull ring in the Nissan GTR. I've seen a few people doing 26s and everyone I've seen doing 26s comfortably is in the GTR, bro. So, yo, th this might be that car out of nowhere. They might have just brought Godzilla back. I ain't gonna lie to you guys, man. Sheesh. Definitely, definitely, we have to try the GTR and we have to try the Lexus because I believe they've got some very favorable um 
BOP changes at the moment. Um, it's going to be interesting because it's definitely going to jumble things up. Some of the cars that people love using, like the Ferrari 296, the McLaren, you might see that falling back. You might see people not really messing with those cars anymore, man. Sheesh. Oh, it's getting interesting, but let's keep going. The Porsche um, 992 GT3 minus KG. So they're making this, making this car quicker. All right. Um, minus 25 GT AM which is GTA and B, which is Watkins Glen. Um, at BGTA, IGTC and H. So that is made it quicker at Kyle Army. Um, what's IGTC quickly? Suzuka. Um, BGTA. You did that one already? Autumn Park. No one cares. Literally nobody cares, bro. Just stop buffing. Just stop buffing cars for like Autumn Park and Snetterton. You know that we're, we're not going there. Okay. Auto blip change. Suspension damper change. Suspension front rebound change. See, this. I, I wanted to see this for more cars, bro. I wanted to see this for more cars. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that um, the dampers are just going to change in the game because we need to get away from this F1 game style setups, man. They're, they're just, they're jarring. And also, lads, we need to get away from this zero TC um, epidemic, bro. It's, it's like, what is it turning into, man? It feels like we're going back to Project Cars days. But... It is what it is right now. Those are the changes for the, for the GT3s. A lot of interesting stuff. For me, the most notable things are the Nissan GTR and the Lexus. They seem to have got some very favorable decisions. I'm not sure why. Even the, the old school Bentley has got so much done to it. I will even say, give that a try. And, you know, at the moment, pretty much everyone is running around with zero TC. The biggest problem with the 2015 Bentley was its intrusive traction control. Now, if you can get away of turning that off, and as you can see, it's literally been, been blessed with um, the taking away of weight, it might be worth having a look at. I personally think that it'll probably be too slow. It's too old. But in terms of the Nissan and the Lexus, I would I would give it a look, man. I would seriously think about giving it a look. That is a lot, a lot of changes, man. Collision box raised. They've changed the your gain. Like, bro, it's interesting. But that's all for me for now, guys. Hope you guys do like the video. Definitely jump on the game and start putting your laps in, man, because it's it's right. It's important right now. <laughs> we need everyone's feedback, man. We need everyone to tell us their findings so we can move on and see which cars are going to become meta and stuff like that i will leave all this stuff in the in the description below also as well remember you know tell me what what you what what track you think this may be guys we definitely know we're going to be going to be getting a new track i don't know why they've called it igte here but igth got a question mark whereas in the other notes kill army is igth hold on let me look quick so what is IG, IGTE? It doesn't have it. It's not, it doesn't exist. I don't think, hold on, let's look. Yeah, so IGTE here doesn't even exist. But in those notes, it's, it's Kiel Army. It's all confusing, man. Whatever the weather, we know there's something going on. <laughs> all right. But anyway, guys, Cryptic TNG, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And peace.